John here, and you've got me for a minute or so. This week in the U.S., we celebrate Thanksgiving. No history lesson retread here. I'm sure you know enough about conventional Thanksgiving Day traditions and what the holiday entails. In short, a day-long expression of gratitude, taking stock of and being thankful for what we have. In our modern consumer culture, it has also become one side of the proverbial two-sided coin, a convulsion of seemingly conflicted ideologies. And at the toss of that coin, the fatigue of post-Thanksgiving indulgence bleeds into the frenzied pandemonium of Black Friday, the traditional start of the holiday shopping season, predicated on the idea that no matter how thankful we may be for what we do have, we simply don't have enough, and we need more. Right f***ing now. Lately, this now seems to arrive earlier and earlier every year. At first, it was Black Friday pre-dawn sales, with stores opening hours earlier to accommodate the rush of frantic shoppers. And then, stores started opening at midnight, with shopping hopefuls abandoning their Thanksgiving dinner tables in order to be the first in line to buy something they'll probably forget to be thankful for next year, too. Now, a lot of stores are promising to kickstart their Black Friday sales a day earlier, being open on Thanksgiving Day to accommodate those shoppers who are thankful for one thing and one thing only. Not just being first in line, but being the most firstest you can be, doing their Black Friday shopping a whole day before Black Friday even gets here. Sure, a lot of harsh words have been thrown in the direction of retailers who've promised to roll out the red carpet for the shopping throngs on Thursday morning. Accusations of hitting a new low with the abandonment of cultural sentimentality in favor of corporate greed. But certainly, these retailers can't take all the blame, and I'm sure there are more than a few employees of modest income who appreciate the opportunity to pull in an extra shift for holiday spending money. But... I imagine the reason retailers would even risk stocking the shelves and staffing their floors for Thursday sales is because they know that there are a lot of shoppers who will flock to their stores. Holiday nostalgia be damned. And something in that strikes me as unfortunate. Look, I'm not trying to bah humbug the whole holiday shopping experience. It can be a lot of fun if that's your thing. The holidays are really a wonderful time, and finding a great deal on that special item you've wanted for yourself or as a gift for someone else can be pretty exciting. If you're among those who feel compelled to jump into the fray of the Black Friday gate-crashing stampedes, well, more power to you, and I hope your experience is both safe and rewarding. I would just caution against letting the constant mantra of sales promotions reminding you of what you don't have make you forget about what you do have. And to take time out every now and again to be thankful for it. Because if we lose sight of how to be thankful, especially in this gift-giving season, we risk even recognizing the value of giving and receiving in the first place.